Hey everybody, um, this is Rob Bradford, thinking about virtual conference. Well, I tried to uh, find some sawdust, but uh, so I felt like I was an Anderson, but I guess that wasn't gonna happen. So here we are, hanging with our masks on. Um, yeah, everything's gonna be a little different this year with conference. I'm looking forward to a virtual conference. I know there's gonna be people that uh, are able to attend that haven't attended in years, cause it's virtual. So uh, I saw Shane post, the five things that are great about a virtual conference. I wanna, I wanna quickly respond to that with the five things I'm gonna miss the most about conference, not being live. Number one, sawdust, all in my toes and in my feet. That's what I'm gonna miss. Number two, staying up way later than I'm supposed to stay up and falling asleep while playing Euchre. Number three, sweating so much for no reason while just sitting completely still sweating. Number four, being talked to by campus safety when we're out asking if we're high school kids or if we're supposed to be out when we're out past curfew as a 40 year old man. And number five, the hills. That's what I'm gonna miss, walking up and down that campus. So yeah, Shane, I hear you. There's five great things that we can do with virtual, but you know what? Those are the five things that I'm gonna miss about being there live. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the what, and the what has been very focused. We've been very focused on the what. We've been very focused on how we're going to put out virtual content, the fact that things are closed down all over the country and all over the world. We've been focused a lot on the what. Um, and I want us to flip our, our mindset to the why. Let's focus on the why. Why do we come to conference? Why do we believe in mission? So I know that for me, I focus very clearly on this idea of Jesus saying that he came to give us life and to give us abundant life. And I think a lot about what that means for me and what that means for the world. And I think, how are we supposed to follow Jesus if we aren't that light. And I don't want to speak in Christianese or funny language like that, but I want to say pretty clearly that the reason why I go to conference, the reason why I attend the New Wilmington Mission Conference, my why is because the world is broken. Um, and there's a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of racism, sexism, misogyny, um, homophobia, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And I believe very strongly that it's going to be cliche, but Jesus is the answer. And I believe that if we listen to Jesus's teachings and the things that Jesus talked about, and we actually do them, that we can make the world a better place. And that might start in our own communities. It might start in our own towns and our own cities and our own states. Um, and go all the way to many countries and all over. Um, and that's my why. My why is my why is Jesus. My why is we were not called to follow Jesus so that we have treasures and so that we get to live this great, amazing life. Um, we're called to follow Jesus so that we can show others about how awesome Jesus is and about how there's real hope for the world and that's what we want to focus on so that's my why so what's your why why do you attend I'm gonna miss seeing you all in person but I look forward to seeing you logging in and experiencing conference virtually it's gonna be a blast it's gonna be a lot of stuff going on you don't want to miss it